New at 5, 10 11, Joanna Boris was at the hospital today. She joins us in the studio with more. I went to Brian Health today and walked through the mother baby floor. It was hard to stop smiling surrounded by nearly a dozen newborn eclipse babies. But for one family, it was an extra special moment. <laughs> For the Brunig family, yesterday was about more than a solar eclipse. I was planning on going to work, to be honest with you. 20 minutes before I left, she came into the bathroom and said, oh, you better call in. I, my water broke. Zane was born at Brine Health around 7 p.m., eight days early, and just five hours after totality passed over Lincoln. Crazy coincidence. We weren't really planning on it happening, and it did, and it was just really exciting, but, you know, he'll have that for his life. A coincidence, not because of the eclipse, but because it's also mom's birthday and eight pounds, six ounces. Katie weighed the exact same amount when she was born. It was just extra special because it was my birthday too. She was in labor for 12 hours during the eclipse. We kind of sat there and watched the window get dark and light. The family isn't superstitious when it comes to the eclipse, but Katie received an interesting email right before her water broke. So my mom had sent me an email about how the eclipse can send moms into labor. It's kind of interesting to have that email and then have it happen like within the hour. As for the other 10 babies, they'd all be 628 years old the next time a total eclipse passes through Lincoln.